Most likely you've been cursed. Don't know who by or why yet, but hope to find that out soon. If you've no contract on my life, why take an interest at all? Did Guillaume put you up to it? Is that why? He wanted to help you. Asked me to do him a favor. Frankly, if I can do something for you, I'll do it, willingly. Why should I trust you? Because the Duchess trusts me? Because I'm a freak, too? Because cases like yours are my bread and butter. Take your pick. You shall not turn on me. Use what I say against me. You shall not tell anyone. You got nothing to fear. Came here to help you. And I won't peep a word to anyone unless I decide it's absolutely necessary. Ah, uh, so be it. I shall tell you what my mama once told me. When she was with child, expecting me, she and my father spent much time together near the wood, here in this clearing. Mama loved to listen to the Orioles sing. She would stroke her belly and say, my daughter should be as beautiful as that bird. Such is my wish. But a creature dwelt in the wood who envied my parents their happiness. One day it appeared. It demanded payment. And when my parents said that they had nothing. Parents ever describe the creature? They called it a nymph born of the deep woods, with no mother or father. But I was too young, too distraught. What happened after that? Nothing at first. I came into the world a perfectly normal child, and my parents forgot that day's events. But 15 summers into my life, the curse began to show. Initially only when the moon was full. But now it's advanced so that even in daytime I must use magic ointment to mask its symptoms, to look normal. Thus I thought, in fact, I was resigned to death in coming here. Perhaps death would be preferable. The curse. It could be reversible. Once ran into a baron, transformed into a corn. And you truly think you could do something like this for me? Can't guarantee a thing. Tough case yours. You were cursed before birth. That alone complicates things. Could try transferring the curse onto someone else. What? Out of the question. I shall not allow it to ruin an in. Only one that's completely safe. So there is another. All right, there is another. Ancient ritual. We'd need an Oriole egg. Should release the curse's grip permanently. Gotta warn you, though. Consequences. What kind? Curse was cast before you came into this world. Ritual involved transferring it to an as yet unhatched chick. You'd be free. Thing is, you could be left with the average lifespan of an Oriole. Seven years. I understand. Alas, every rose has its thorn, and there are no happy endings. Yet, truth be told, yet you wish to give me seven years of life. Real life, free. I see why. I understand. Don't have to decide just yet. Think it through. I will. They must miss me at the tawny grounds by now. Shall we? Return. Let's. But are you gonna... Ah, uh, yes. I cannot appear there all in feathers. Pardon me for a moment. change at will? No, but I discovered the water of this pool helps. Its effects are brief, but I can always be sure of them. Hmm. 
Interesting. Come. Did you learn anything? Yeah. Then speak, man. Can you not see I'm out of my mind with worry? What ails her? She asked me not to talk about it. But I want only the best for her. Perhaps I shall be able to help or, I don't know, console her at the least. We were both right, actually. It is a curse. One that's transforming Vivian into a bird. Her condition's getting worse. Gods! A curse that is a worse affliction than disease. What now? Can you help her? That'll depend on her. I'll try if she asks me. Significant risks involved, though. Shortening her life to about another seven years included. What? This is not what we agreed. Tough case. Curses hold on her grow stronger every day. Heard of one other method that could work. Curse could be lifted via her reflection, say in a pool of water. Thing is, we'd need someone who'd willingly assume the burden of the curse. Take it on in her stead. You mean, become a bird themselves? Theoretically. See, curse grows weaker once it's transferred. Might end up as just an appetite for seeds and worms. All outcomes are on the table, though. Death included. I am prepared to sacrifice. Give my life for her. Just as King Friedanks knew that already. But are you prepared to swallow bugs for the rest of your life? <laughs> yes. Which method do you believe to be best for Vivian? Don't know yet. But you have some notion, have you not? Do not tell me you serious. Method using a pool of water is better. Poses no threat to Vivian. Naturally. Y you must know you can count on me. I shall bear it all. I'll meet her after the last contest. Talk to her. I'm counting on you, Witcher. And I'm content we finally know something. What n True, I shall get an earful from the Herald should you fail to show for the last con- I don't back out of anything. I'll take part in the last skirmish. Indeed. In that case, you must meet- Got it. Thanks. I know now the two teams' rosters. I shall be captain of ours. That means you shall... Palmer in the lawn for... With this skirmish, we commemorate... Since that day, night... None. I doubt you'll do us any good. You know nothing of night. It is time, gentle... A cheer for the two rifle crews, two... Some two doors or lance bloke. While the knights prepare, let me say, I'm elated to behold such a crowd on edge, breath baited. Whoever here wins the past champion shall face. All others must leave. Let us begin! Count Resaracus! Blood, sweat, and tears shall soon follow in buckets.
world's never seen a fight quite so glorious. For showing such verve, each knight was victorious. Yet in Tony's as in life, but one champion may reign. Today, he is the one. Praised be his name. He felt a whole host slew the most. To Geralt of Rithia, who the strength of luck, he sails through all time for Gregoire de Gorgon to the tired remainder. It is time. Step into the... Thanks, I'm fine. The Witcher of Rift. Now entering the grounds, a titan of infamy. I wish both combatants good fortune and fame. Haste <laughs> the grounds, the titans lock the stairs. Ferocious and spry as wolves, pretty cares. To Madame de Messieurs, la victor and champion, the unequal. Free fear! This is champion! A sight to behold! He defeated Gregoire de Gorgon! Hail Geralt! Herald! As patron of this grand tourney, I've the honor to decorate our grand champion. His vow he made upon the garter of her illustrious highness, Anna Henrietta. Doubtless the Duchess's grace carried him to this splendid victory. He showed great courage, great strength, great composure. He fought nobly with honor and thus rightfully deserves the title of this year's Champion of the Arena! I need to talk to you. Not now. We shall meet later in my tent. I have duties to attend to, as do you. Folk will guard you. The least you should do is away. Greetings, my lady. Have you decided? I have. I stand by all I have said. <laughs> 